Edward VIII, Edward Albert Christian George Andrew Patrick David, June 23, 1894, May 28, 1972, was King of the United Kingdom in the dominions of the British Empire, and Emperor of India, from January 20, 1936 until his abdication on 11 December of that year. Edward was born during the reign of his great-grandmother Queen Victoria as the eldest child of the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George V and Queen Mary. He was created Prince of Wales on his 16th birthday, seven weeks after his father succeeded as king. As a young man, Edward served in the British Army during the First World War and undertook several overseas tours on behalf of his father. While Prince of Wales, he engaged in a series of affairs that worried his father and the British Prime Minister, Stanley Baldwin. Edward became king on his father's death. As king, he showed impatience with court protocol, and caused concern among politicians by his apparent disregard for established constitutional conventions. Only months into his reign, he caused a constitutional crisis by proposing to Wallace Simpson, an American who had divorced her first husband and was seeking a divorce from her second. The Prime Ministers of the United Kingdom and the Dominions opposed the marriage, arguing a divorced woman with two living ex-husbands was politically and socially unacceptable as a prospective queen consort. Additionally, such a marriage would have conflicted with Edward's status as the titular head of the Church of England, which at the time disapproved of remarriage after divorce if a former spouse was still alive. Edward knew the Baldwin government would resign if the marriage went ahead, which could have forced a general election and would have ruined his status as a politically neutral constitutional monarch. When it became apparent he could not marry Wallace and remain on the throne, he abdicated. He was succeeded by his younger brother, George VI. With a reign of 326 days, Edward is one of the shortest reigning monarchs in British history. After his abdication, Edward was created Duke of Windsor. He married Wallace in France on June 3, 1937, after her second divorce became final. Later that year, the couple toured Germany. During the Second World War, Edward was at first stationed with the British military mission to France, but after private accusations that he was a Nazi sympathizer, he was appointed governor of the Bahamas. After the war, Edward spent the rest of his life in retirement in France. He and Wallace remained married until his death in 1972. Wallace died 14 years later. Edward was born on June 23, 1894 at White Lodge, Richmond Park, on the outskirts of London during the reign of his great-grandmother Queen Victoria. 1. He was the eldest son of the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George V and Queen Mary. His father was the son of the Prince and Princess of Wales, later King Edward VII and Queen Alexandra. His mother was the eldest daughter of Princess Mary Adelaide of Cambridge and Francis, Duke of Teck. At the time of his birth, he was third in the line of succession to the throne, behind his grandfather and father. He was baptized Edward Albert Christian George Andrew Patrick David in the Green Drawing Room of White Lodge on July 16, 1894 by Edward White Benson, Archbishop of Canterbury. A two, the names were chosen in honor of Edward's late uncle, who was known to his family as Eddie or Edward, and his great-grandfather King Christian IX of Denmark. The name Albert was included at the behest of Queen Victoria for her late husband Albert, Prince Consort, and the last four names, George, Andrew, Patrick and David, came from the patron saints of England, Scotland, Ireland, and Wales. 3. He was always known to his family and close friends by his last given name, David. 4. As was common practice with upper-class children of the time, Edward and his younger siblings were brought up by nannies rather than directly by their parents. One of Edward's early nannies often abused him by pinching him before he was due to be presented to his parents. His subsequent crying and wailing would lead the Duke and Duchess to send him and the nanny away. 5. The nanny was discharged after her mistreatment of the children was discovered, and she was replaced by Charlotte Bill. 6. Edward's father, though a harsh disciplinarian, 7. Was demonstratively affectionate, 8. And his mother displayed a frolicsome side with her children that belied her austere public image. She was amused by the children making tadpoles on toast for their French master as a prank, 9, and encouraged them to confide in her. 10. Initially, Edward was tutored at home by Helen Bricka. When his parents traveled the British Empire for almost nine months following the death of Queen Victoria in 1901, 
young Edward and his siblings stayed in Britain with their grandparents, Queen Alexandra and King Edward VII, who showered their grandchildren with affection. Upon his parents' return, Edward was placed under the care of two men, Frederick Finch and Henry Hansel, who virtually brought up Edward and his brothers and sister for their remaining nursery years. 11. Edward was kept under the strict tutorship of Hansel until almost 13 years old. Private tutors taught him German and French. 12. Edward took the examination to enter the Royal Naval College, Osborne, and began there in 1907. Hansel had wanted Edward to enter school earlier, but the prince's father had disagreed. 13. Following two years at Osborne College, which he did not enjoy, Edward moved on to the Royal Naval College at Dartmouth. A course of two years, followed by entry into the Royal Navy, was planned. 14. Edward automatically became Duke of Cornwall and Duke of Rothsey on May 6, 1910 when his father ascended the throne as George V on the death of Edward VII. He was created Prince of Wales and Earl of Chester a month later on June 23, 1910, his 16th birthday. 15. Preparations for his future as king began in earnest. He was withdrawn from his naval course before his formal graduation, served as midshipman for three months aboard the battleship Hindustan, then immediately entered Magdalen College, Oxford, for which, in the opinion of his biographers, he was underprepared intellectually. 14. A keen horseman, he learned how to play polo with the university club. 16. He left Oxford after eight terms, without any academic qualifications. 14. Edward was officially invested as Prince of Wales in a special ceremony at Carnarvon Castle on July 13, 1911. 17. The investiture took place in Wales, at the instigation of the Welsh politician David Lloyd George, Constable of the Castle and Chancellor of the Exchequer in the Liberal Government. 18. Lloyd George invented a rather fanciful ceremony in the style of a Welsh pageant, and coached Edward to speak a few words in Welsh. 19. 